Hey all you truckies and rescue company gurus, Kevin Mao from the Fire Store here today. We're going to talk about the new Staub's Forcible Entry Simulator. Completely redesigned, better than ever. We've taken our original unit that Greg Staub developed over 20 years ago, combined it with his latest full door simulator, and put it all into one complete unit. Let's get Greg in here and show you how this thing really works. Okay, when you want to move it, the unit is mobile. If you want to move it, you just release the handle and you can move it back and forth. And then when you get it where you want to set it up at, this pin locks, locks the handle in place. Just pull that out. And then we set, we set rubber, rubber pads under each corner of the unit. If you're working on really smooth concrete, it'll help the unit from sliding around. And it usually works best to drop the stationary wheels down first. Just pull this up, kick that out of the way, drop it. Do the other side. And now you're letting down the, the turning wheels. Pull it up, do this. And that's all it's to it, Greg? You're ready that's to go? That's it, now it's ready to go. Yeah, this, this is removable by pulling these two pins out, swing it up, pick it up out of there. Okay, seemed easy enough. And there's our inward swinging door that we're used to from the, uh, from the original full door unit. Uh, the lock tension is set by adjusting these wheels up and down because it's all spring loaded. All your forcing is done on this, on this panel here. These panels up here and at the bottom are meant for sounding, for like sounding purposes. Okay, once you get your tool set and in place, then you're ready to force it. Okay, and to reset the door, all you do is pull this handle, opens these two jaws up, and it's locked back in place again, it's ready to go. You can use it for police work too, because you can beat the door open with a battering ram or a sledgehammer. Looks like you have a padlock cutting station on here now as well. We can demonstrate uh, breaking or sawing padlocks. You can use a tool to, to drive them off with. You can demonstrate cutting, cutting a padlock like that. Quick and easy to put that back on. Now, what are all we're going to simulate here, Greg? You have two cutting stations. You can. Uh, this is a good place for somebody to start with that never ran a saw before, just horizontal cutting. And then you have up here, you can simulate uh, like your window bars that you would find on uh, commercial buildings in uh, cities. Greg, could you throw lumber in there if you wanted to, just to run like a vent saw? Whatever, whatever you can fit inside this tube, you, you can put it in there and cut. Okay. Yep. So you're not limited to just a nope. circular saw. Show the outward swinging door. Looks like you got the same area to hit again on. Yep. Looks like you added some lock stations. You got a barrel lock there, some commercial locks. What all are you gonna do here, Greg? Okay, you can demonstrate the use of a K tool. Can you replace that barrel lock then, once, Greg? Once you pull the lock out, you simply put it back in there. 
grab it back in place, preferably with a rubber mallet.